Sonia crept up again. And she reached into that sack for a third time, took out a third chunk of meat, and she placed it there in the entrance to the cave and backed up only 20 yards. Sure enough, that lion came creeping out of that cave, looked at Sonia. Now, when he looked at Sonia and she was so close, she was so frightened, she was shaking like a leaf. But she was also a very brave woman and she stood. The lion smelled the meat, devoured the meat, and went back into the cave. Sonia crept up again. She reached into that sack. She had one more chunk of meat, which she took out and placed carefully in front of the cave and stepped back, this time only three steps, and waited. That lion crept out of the cave. At first, just stood there looking at Sonia. And he smelled that meat, and he started to devour that meat. And as he did, Sonia inched forward very carefully. And she leaned in, reached out her hand, and she took hold of a single whisker from his chin and pulled. The lion continued eating the meat. Sonia backed away very carefully. She came to a clump of bushes, and then she turned and ran. She ran and she ran all the way back to the home of the witch doctor, and she knocked on the door. The witch doctor came out, and Sonia said, Witch doctor, here. Here is a whisker taken from a furious mountain lion. Now make me my love potion so that I can give it to my stepson so he will learn to love me because I love him dearly, but I want so much for him to love me in return. Please give me my potion. Well, once upon a time, there was a chief, and his name was Yanomnali. Can you say that? Yanomnali. Yanomnali. Yeah. A Chumash chief he was. He was very busy. One day, a villager ran to the chief. Yanomnali, Yanomnali, there's a stranger in our village. There's a stranger in our village, she's causing a lot of problems, and her name is Spider. That spider is spinning webs all over our houses and across our doorways. We're falling into them every single minute. Will you please ask Spider to leave our village? Send Spider to me, said the chief. Spider? People say that your webs are causing problems. They're falling through them. They're hurting themselves. Please think of a way to use your webs to help people. And to the people, he said, you see this spider? There's much good in her. She will remain among us. And it was true. Two days later, another villager ran to the chief. Chief Yanomnali, there's a stranger in our village. His name is Rat. This rat person is causing problems. He's stealing our rice, our beans, our special seeds. You must ask this rat to leave our village. We don't want him here. You know, the Native Americans, all the many, many different tribes, they all have their very own creation story. And it's very sacred to them. And there's usually only one person in the tribe that tells those stories. And I respect that. So I don't tell Native American creation stories, but I have one of my own. One day, a little girl asked her mother, Mom, how did the human race begin? Her mother answered, Well, sweetie, God created Adam and Eve. They had children, and so all mankind began with God's creation. A few days later, the little girl asked her father the same question. He answered, Well, dear, Long ago, there were these monkeys from which the human race evolved. 
The confused little girl returned to her mother and asked, Mom, how is it possible that you told me God created the human race and Dad said they evolved from monkeys? Her mother answered, Well, sweetie, it's simple. I told you about my side of the family and my father told you about his. <laughs>